Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tire tread by extruding on a curved surface in Fusion 360. So we're going to want to open a new file, and I've got that right over here. And we're going to want to create a sketch about the origin. So make sure you have home selected. I'm going to click on this front plane here, and I'm just going to make a generic shape. So I'm going to go 20 millimeters. And let's go 30 millimeters. And let's extrude that. Let's call it 10. So at this point, depending on what type of tire you're looking to do, now would be the time you want to use the shell feature for the inside of the tire. If you want to use just a regular tire where you insert the wheel into it, I would just leave it as is and put on the fillets. But if you are planning to use the shell feature, I would do this before using the extrude on a surface tool because if you do the extrude on a surface first, the shell feature can make it very cumbersome, make the computing very difficult, possibly make Fusion 360 crash and might just not work in general. So I would recommend using the shell tool first before extruding on the surface if that's the type of tire that you are in fact looking for. And I know that because it's happened before so take my advice and don't let that happen to you. So what I am going to do first here is I don't want to shell this one for what I'm going to be making this for so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it the outside and inner diameters of the tire and we'll go with about one millimeter and that looks pretty good. So now we're going to want to make the sketch. So we're going to select this center plane, which is the benefit of creating this tire on the origin. So I'm going to create just a generic tire tread shape. And if you're following along doing this, you can make this whatever shape you want. But I'm going to do sort of a jagged, sort of all-terrain tire tread look. Um, so we're just going to make a few lines here. And what you want to do here is you want to make sure that it is coincident with the fillet that I've created because with the surface extrude feature in Fusion 360 it likes the surface to be all in one body so if it's a discontinuing object for example if it goes from a face onto a fillet or a face that wraps around another object Fusion doesn't like that and it won't compute properly and the extrude will fail so you want to make sure that it's all in one solid object that uh, is continuous so that's just something to keep in mind when you're making this extrude. So now with the sketch I've made, I want to create a center line in the middle of the tire here. So I am going to create a line and then dimension it to the center. So I made it 10 millimeters deep, so five would be halfway through. So we're gonna now mirror this sketch that I created about this center line. So there we go. So now I'm going to mirror the sketch that we just mirrored and I'm doing this strictly for aesthetic purposes because I think it might look pretty cool on the tire. Uh, with your sketch again you can create whatever type of style you'd like. So now that that's complete I'm going to rotate the object here and I'm going to erase that original sketch because we no longer need that. So now that I have that complete, I'm going to hide the actual tire body that we've extruded. And then I'm going to select this sketch that we've mirrored here and just pull it down so it's more in line to make an actual tire tread style that we want. And I'm going to just delete this lower mirror line because we don't need that one anymore. And I'm going to go back into the bodies and reshow the tire. So here we go. Now we're going to use extrude. We're going to select the two treads of the tire that we made. And now from the start part here, we want to go object. So this is going to start the extrude from whatever object we select. So we're going to select this object. And let's bring it out approximately one millimeter, let's say. 
So I'm just going to rotate the tire to the side a little bit to get a sort of preview. And I can see that the one millimeter extrusion is a little bit awkward and long. So we're going to change this to about a 0.5. And that looks a lot better. Okay. So you can see that this extrude is flush with the curvature and it extrudes in line with the circular diameter of the tire. So now what we want to do is use the circular pattern function to pattern this tread all around the wheel. But firstly, we want to fill it this tire tread so it doesn't look so awkward and choppy. So I'm just going to select all around the outside of this tread that we created. All right, so let's finish filleting the mirrored portion and let's give this a 0.25 millimeter fillet and it's just a little too big it looks like so let's try 0.1 a little too small so let's try 0.2 and that looks pretty good and that looks like a much more natural tire tread and you don't have to extrude this tread outward by any means. You can do an indented extruded cut very similarly as you can do this extruded feature on a curve. So now what we're going to do is we are going to use a circular pattern tool and we're going to pattern this feature around the entire tire. So we want to select the features. We want to select the extrude and the fillet. And we want to select the center axis which is another benefit of creating this tire about the origin. And then we can see that we've got the preview set. So we can see the three instances that the preview pattern gives us. So let's see what the preview of 20 gives us. Um, what maybe a little bit more, let's try 30. And maybe let's go 35. I think that looks pretty good, so let's OK this, and it's going to take a little bit of time to compute since it is 35 instances. So there we go, we've got a pretty cool tire tread pattern. And you can also select the sketch again that we created on the center plane. You can change it, adjust it, move it up or down, and it will auto-adjust based off of the order of operations that we did this in. But overall, this is a pretty useful feature on extruding on a curved surface in Fusion 360. So if you like this video and would like to see more like it, please consider subscribing. And as always, happy printing.